Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in the new Aston Martin DBX 707 and next to me is a Bentley Flying Spur W12 and we're gonna have a drag race. Two British brands, underpinned by German engineering. So this is the most powerful and quickest four-door Aston Martin you can buy. That Flying Spur is the most powerful and quickest four-door Bentley you can buy in Europe because you can't get the Bentayga speed in Europe because of the mission reasons of the W12 engine. Anyhow, let me tell you about this DBX. So it has a Mercedes AMG 4 litre twin turbo V8, which puts out 707 horsepower, hence the name, and 900 newton meters of torque. It powers all four wheels for our nine speed automatic gearbox with wet clutches, and it has launch control. This thing weighs in at just over 2.2 tons, and it costs from 190,000 pounds. That Bentley, as the name suggests, has a W12 engine with six litre capacity and twin turbos. It puts out 635 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. And it drives all four wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. So that car weighs in at just over 2.4 tons. I've got a feeling that one's a bit heavier because it's just full of mulliner goodness. So much wood and leather. Also, it's quite expensive. It starts from 235,000 pounds. Now, if you like these kind of drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. So go and do it now. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna compare the specs of these cars while you get and subscribe. So just yeah you'll see them on screen now okay let's go on with the racing buy sell car wow now before we race we're going to do the obligatory car wow sound check so i'm going to rev up this aston three thousand rpm soft limiter let's go over to the bentley we've got racing driver sam Good morning, Matt. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Although I'm a little bit disappointed by the fact that this beautiful Aston has a 3,000 RPM soft limiter. Anyway, let's see if your Bentley has a soft limiter. Go rev it up. 3,000 RPM soft limit. We're just going to have to remove this section from the videos in future because it's becoming pointless. It's just a bit boring, isn't it, now? There should be an override for kids like us wanting to make noise. <laughs> Special car wow button. <laughs> Oh, there's something else we need to do. We need to warm our tyres. Not too bad, really. That's quite good fun, this is. Do you know what? That did it a little bit better than I thought it would. I can be interested to see if that big Bentley will drift. Really, it shouldn't. It has no right to. It shouldn't be allowed to, but let's see whether it can. Go on, Sam. Oh, it looks horrible. That was pretty good, that was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not bad for a big bus, is it? It did all right. Anyway, your tires are warm. Get on the line quick before they cool down. Right, I think we're ready to race now. But before we do, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to find out how much it's really worth, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below to go to CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. And they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money in your account. And 83% of people who sell their car through CarWow say that they got their best offer through CarWow. Now, if you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google, help me CarWow. Me and my team will help you sell your car. Now let's race, yeah? Oh, we got a good start there. Come on, Aston! Whoa! <laughs> Here we go! No! Oh, I'm enjoying this! smug you had a nice start there that was a great start by you but this thing launches so well and it just seemed to ease past ever so slightly you are carrying a lot of tree and cow with you aren't you it is a big lump but uh, i thought when i jumped you on the launch there that was gonna stay ahead but no you pulled me in gutted can we go again no why would you go again i won't yeah sure let's go again get Oh, this skipped on the start. Come on. 
No. No. I've never been so disappointed winning. We were very close together on the start, weren't we? Okay, so that was a lot closer. I think I've got this nailed now. Please give me one more go. I can definitely beat you. I can beat you, please. That wasn't the perfect launch from this. So he thinks he's gonna be in with a chance. I reckon if I nail the start and it hooks up, this is gonna beat him even worse. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, definitely. Um, you know, it's normally best two out of three, but I'm willing to give you one last go. Let's say winner takes all, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I don't own this, so you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. When it takes all. Okay, so I've turned the stability off now to stop that skippy thing happening. Three, two, one. Oh, that was a perfect launch. There it is. Oh my God, I can't keep up with that. Such a bad person. Gotta say, I had the perfect launch out of this. I've done a few launches in this and that is the best it's ever done. You got spanked, didn't you? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're toying with me? We had a really close race. This feels like a stitch up. You just destroyed me and my launch was pretty good that time. Excellent. Excellent. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Aston won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.4 seconds, while the Bentley took 11.5 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's just in their normal comfy setting and automatic mode for the gearbox. See, it's quickest over the half mile and full mile. I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. He picked up really well. I think I might be breathing him in. Uh, <laughs> I think drag's gonna hit me now though. Look, he's got me to the half mile. Oh, uh, what's gonna happen on the mile? Come on, Aston. Nah, uh, he's pulling on me now. Oh, the kickdown on your car was immense. That's the dual clutch gearbox, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, the kickdown was awesome. I wonder what it's going to be like in manual. Well, we'll find out in a moment. But there was a brief moment then where I thought I was just reading you in. I think it was over a space of about, I don't know, between 70 and 100, maybe. The gap stayed the same. I didn't reel you in anymore. And then the higher speeds after the half mile, you just started to ease ahead. Aerodynamics, methinks. Uh, I mean, I crossed the mile at about 183 miles an hour. What did you cross it at? I can't be quite sure, but it was less. Oh, there you go. That's why I won. <laughs> God, he should be a scientist. Let's go again. Rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time, though, the car's in their sportiest setting and manual mode for their gearbox. We're going to call it in from third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, pickup's good. Got him now. Come on, girl. Definitely to the half mile, but can you pull me back? You're coming now. Oh, shoot. Let's wipe that smirk. Here it comes. Come on, DBX. Come on. I sort of hate you a bit. Yeah, I get that. I tell you what's interesting, though. This was actually 10 mile an hour slower across the mile that time than it was on the previous one. So maybe the headwind changed or something, but uh, either way, I beat you. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion that it could be that when you're just cruising, it kicked down into second rather than having to do the roll on in third and that just gave you a little bit extra? You're the intelligent one in this relationship, Matt. So <laughs> but yeah, maybe that was it. Uh, 10, 10 mile an hour is a lot though, isn't it? You could be right. I like the way you said that I could be right and then had a lot of reasons of why I wasn't right and you were right. But anyway, shall we move on? Otherwise, it's going to end up backwards and forwards all day, isn't it? My second wife. <laughs> <laughs> Great test for 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race involving this DBX and Lamborghini Urus, click up there. Follow the link in the description. If not, stay here. Here comes the line. Oh! 
Big heavy cars actually both stopped really well, but yours stopped better, didn't it? Half car length. Yeah, and what was cool in this was there was a lot of ABS at the start, and then it kind of just sorted itself out. I could feel it releasing the ABS and trying to stop more efficiently, so that was really cool. Yeah, I love that feeling of release. Don't we all? <laughs> Hopefully the editor takes that out because it's a little bit cringe. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these two cars you would rather have in the comments below. Put a pin comment, you can vote there. Okay, now if you want to watch some more videos, you click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then add a little bid on your car and you'll find out what it's really worth. It's completely free, no obligation to sell. But 83% of people who sell their car through CarWow say they got the best price through CarWow. Thanks for watching.